You know what I mean? Like, I do a lot of track driving. Uh, I'm a data engineer too for our professional race team, so I fly out to all the racetracks. Are so, you be tuning the race cars and shit? Yeah, yeah, that's like what I do. I do performance tuning, uh, data engineering, track setups, chassis suspension, the whole nine, everything. I'm sold. <laughs> the black market is open. Hit the shit, J.O.N. Yeah, the whole I'm sold. <laughs> you know what this means? <laughs> when I ring this bell, what we got? We're not collecting money for. <laughs> Salvation Army. That means the black market is open. Oh. <laughs> For all the people out in the streets who was wondering. J O N, you hear what my man talk about, bruh? Ferraris and Lamborghinis. And everybody who got two is know I love some Ferraris and Lamborghinis and all types of cars. But I, you know, I like old school muscle cars. But he out here tuning race cars. I know he can get down. Yeah, so I like old school foul. too now, don't get me wrong. I like, I like everything. As long as it got four wheels on it, I'm cooch with it. All right, man, first of all, I got to welcome you to the trap, yeah. to Appreciate the black market. <laughs> and you know this platform was created to, you know, to highlight it and expose some of the people who are doing dope shit in the black market. Mm -hmm. Got my man Leonard Gaucher in here with us today. Gaucher, Gaucher, happy to be here. From Foremost Speed Shop. Yeah. Where y'all located, man? In Buckhead. You know, um, like literally right next door to Mercedes-Benz Buckhead. Oh, okay. That's smart right on marketing people. right there. Literally. But you're a young dude. How did you get into this industry? Um, so I went to school for mechanical engineer at Georgia Southern. You know, okay, the real good. GSU. Just throw that out there real quick. Um, <laughs> but ended up coming back, need a summer job one time. And I used to work at the Whole Foods up in Buckhead on West Paces. And, whatnot. and then it was like, well, we got, you know, we kind of full. We already hired people like that. And I just, I was like, all right, you know, big deal. I was driving down the street. And I just kind of see this shop like to the right in my, in my corner of my eye. Yeah. They had a number of Porsches just sitting outside. And I kind of walked in there, you know, I was telling like, you know, just kind of looking for some work. I like cars. I never worked on none professionally or anything like that, but you know, just did my own basic stuff like at the house. And it was like, yeah, you know, we can kind of see. So they, they didn't really give me a job. I showed up on Monday at 6 a.m. You just showed up? I just showed up. And it was like, all right, well, we're just gonna find something for you to do then. And I just stayed with it ever since. So then start off as an office boy. Hold up, what did they find you to do? You know, find me, my, I literally like, I remember the very first day, I cleaned out the office, that was it. Okay. It was yeah. like, just reorganize all the papers, make the file cabinet look normal, blase, blase. Uh, what was that. the first car shit they put you on? The car stuff? Um, I think I had to do oil change for like a 911. Oh, okay. You know, something simple. And they're, they're real basic to do. If you ever make do one someday, it's super simple, so you can't like mess that up too bad. And um, pretty much it just taught me everything I need to know, and I just kept going from there and I got more involved actually like running the business yeah per se because I was it's a small independent shop so you kind of a little bit more hands-on and say like we're gonna a dealership per se where you just kind of stuck to one role yeah um, so I literally had to do everything like check people in you know run the uh, send out vendor payments order stuff you name it I had to do it for the shop um, and then eventually ended up turning into working on the cars at the same time while doing all that same so I ended up doing basically the back end the front end side to side of the whole business Right. And got into it. And, and you just took the initiative to show up at 6 o'clock Monday. Yeah, that's what it's 6 a.m. Hey, like, man, don't ask for the job you want. Take the job that you want. Show up at 6 o'clock on a Monday. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to be there, but. <laughs> yeah, like they weren't even open yet. I exactly. Like, I sat in the parking lot for like two and a half hours for anybody to show it up. Show up at 7.45. Save yourself some time. <laughs> but it was cool. I like, I enjoy the experience. I love what I do. Yeah. I mean, every day, like, I get up, go to the shop. Work on some car, you know, same old, same old, same old. And it, sometimes it ain't really about the car. It's the people you deal with with the cars. And, like, the Porsche market has just got, like, that sweet level of people which you deal with. You meet all kinds of people. You'd be surprised. What's up? It's Clayton English. Tired of dealing with the hassle of traditional banks with all their extra fees, long lines, and an app that's really pointless? Then check out Current. Current is a new way to money. Spend, save, and manage your money better with the Current app and debit card. Earn points on every swipe, redeemable for cashback rewards, and faster direct deposit up to two days early. Any member who signs up for a current personal account can start earning interest daily by adding money to their savings pod and enabling the interest feature. 
And for a limited time, we partnered with Current to give away $1,000. That's right. Current is going to give away $250 to four listeners of our show. All you got to do is download the Current app at current.com backslash market or enter our code in market during sign up for a chance to win. Void where prohibited. Eligibility restrictions apply. Visit current.com 85 South for full terms and conditions. Current is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services provided by and Visa debit card issued by Choice Financial Group member FDIC pursuant to a license from Visa USA Incorporated can be used everywhere Visa debit cards are accepted. Man, what kind of what kind of like preventative maintenance advice would you give to the Porsche owner since that's your specialty? Preventative maintenance? Um, drive it. Like drive the shit out of it. Word. Like, I mean like That's like, the best advice. They, like they build it to be driven, you know? Like a lot of people are like, oh, I got like this really rare car, only put like a thousand miles a year. I'm like, like those are the cars I see the most that had the most issues because they just don't get they sit, dude, work. Everything you know just I mean? tears up. Like, you, I mean, like you don't have to be like a baby to car. You can drive it around and beat the shit out of it. And I promise you, it'll be fine. Yeah. Like that's what it's built for to take that kind of abuse and stretch his legs. Like to me, I'm not soft on any car because like, anytime I want to touch a car or I build a car for somebody, I want to make sure when it leaves my hands and it goes to the customer hands that they can do whatever I would do to the car to make it run his accent. You say you specialize in like high-end motors, like Ferraris and Porsche and things of that nature. But what are some of the other stuff that you work on? Other vehicles? Um, because I'm about like, to start bringing some old schools up there. You're not just about to be working on expensive shit. You're nah, gonna I mean, take like, some we of still... these money, car loans, and cutlasses <laughs> and shit too. Man, you can tune my shit. Man, I got God is gonna send me um, a short bed C10 pretty soon with full LS swap in it. Um, you do swap? Yeah, I can do something like that. You know, it's, it's not a big deal. We got, um, I'm putting me a Porsche got, motor in a Monte Carlo. We're building right now, so we're running uh, E46 M3s with like, uh, you know, 6.0 LSs in them. Yeah. You know, G-Force Trans, the whole nine, winner's quick diffs. You're losing them. You're yeah. losing them. It's all, it's all the big technical stuff, but essentially, you know, they're full-blown, like, drift cars, essentially. Word. I got an 840 BMW that I'm bringing back to life. 840? 840. What year? A little something. What? I'm going to come get it tuned. What you want to do to it? Man, I'm just bringing it back to life, man. Yeah, I like stayed it. away from the from the V12, so what I just you got do, like, like nice. like paid in full style, you know, throw some exactly. Like, okay, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah bring it back to no life. Pressure. Give me a nice little sporty tune. Get on out of there. Yeah, ain't no pressure. Ain't no big deal. I got you. That's what's up, man. Drop the location one more time so, so they'll yeah, know um, how to find you. Located at 2711 Piedmont Road, Northeast, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, 30305, up there in Buckhead. I said literally right at the Miami Circle before Mercedes Benz and Buckhead. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I plan on staying there for a little while. I like it. Man, it's just dope to see somebody, a young black man, in that industry. Because usually it's just some old, old white, white guy. For sure. And they yeah, just be no, like, yeah, I, I can get to uh, it in five, six months. I'm definitely All the, like the only probably like black person you're going to meet. I'd say there is one other Porsche black tech in Atlanta. Yeah. But he's a real old school guy. Um, I mean, the guy is like, damn, you're genius. I mean. He, he talked to him at Lentz, he knows a lot of things. He don't get a lot of recognition uh, just because he's, he's real old school with it, but he, um, he gave me a lot of insight, a lot of things he was telling me about like in the past, about how he used to go into racing, and the guy could just build anything you could think of. So yeah. this, I would say there's some people out there, but for sure, when I'm out at the racetrack, I'm like maybe one of three, maybe. If I'm lucky, I might be the only person there at the yeah. same time, so it just depends. Man, give me your top five cars of all time. Top five cars of all time? Um, J-O-N, my dog right here, he like minivans. That's minivans? <laughs> minivans and weird shaped SUVs. Man, them, hot, them little Odysseys be pushing, man. But uh, I guess top five, easily. Honda yeah. NSX got to be number one for me. Okay. Dream car for sure. You don't um, have one? Who said I didn't? I'm asking. <laughs> Just saying. I got Brooklyn Green 195. Okay. Um, very rare, love the car. Never drive it because it's terrifying to drive. Is it? Well, it's, it's not like it's dangerous. It's just everybody else around you. It's terrifying. That's what makes it really complicated. Um, Cause you're like, man, somebody hits this thing. It's it's one of 34 cars. Yeah. Like it's gone at that point. You know what I mean? Damn. You don't you don't really want to like mess the originality of the car. The car's all original. Like nothing's ever been touched. No paintwork. No nothing. So it's spotless. Um, number two, uh, 996 GT3. Love them to death. Um, I just like like cars that scream, yeah. you know, real loud revers and whatnot. Uh, number three, split bumper Camaro. Frown of fun. If you got one, I would say if you got a split bumper Camaro, send me a message because I really want one. 
got Just one. make sure it's not completely rusted, because I just want to build the motor and put it in. I got one. All right, but I need another. I just um, dropped it off at the interior shop today. <laughs> I'm looking for one for sure. Okay, but um, I, got, I know where a few of them are. Number four. We're going to have to um, do some business. 2021 GT500. That's a bad car. Word. Ooh, that thing's nasty. Oof. You got you to gotta get your hands into one of those. Those things are nasty. I love okay. them. Okay. Um, and number five, like Mercia Lago. I, I always wanted to kind of like be like when that, either Mercia Lago or Diablo. It's really between the two. Cause I haven't driven either one yet, yeah. so I just kind of want to see what they like. That Diablo was the one that made every little boy want to fucking. Yeah, like. Man. Diablo was nasty. Just to go to the book fair and buy the posters of them bitches. <laughs> I still got one too. Like, Word. I, I got a post at the crib. Man, Diablo I want to find that company that used to make those car posters, man. This thing's crazy. They I got love so them. much of my money going through school. Yeah. They, they do cars. I love that. Man, I love some fucking cars, man. I'm definitely going to have to pull up on the shop and yeah, should at least just shoot the breeze, man. I don't have no no high ends yet. That ain't never. That ain't my bag. I like old school. Yeah, it's a stepping stone. I'm going to get gonna... one, though. Just because now I know I got a reliable tech that I can bring it to. Yeah, I mean, I know how it is for you old school guys. I mean, y'all be having, like, some real money putting some old schools. I know how it is. <laughs> like, you ain't got to, like... Kick the bush with me. I know how it is. You gotta be putting some real. Nah, but you're gonna have to put me up on some game, man. And give me a nice, nice sports car, man, over there in oh, y'all yeah. lane. You know, I build it right. I do the whole suspension and everything. Um, get a good chassis set up, and you, you get into it. You like, man, this car is transformed from the first time I bought it. I'm trying to think. That's man. that's Let's like see. that's my niche right there. Like transformer cars for people. Hey man, why are those Porsche SUVs like? Why why is the resale value on them so low? Are they just shitty? Which one, the Macans like, or the Cayennes? Yeah, the, the Cayennes. The Cayennes? Ah, oh, it's just because they make so many of them. That's it. Yeah, like, and then it depends like which version it is too. So like your base models, they're just not like super desirable because they don't really have that much options. And, and Porsche is all about option codes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you can deck the hell out of a car, and they even have like what they call an exclusive program, where I mean like they'll put leather like on the air vents in the car, or like, yeah, yeah. or they'll put like a custom size seal, whatever you want to do with Porsches. Um, literally, they're like Ferrari, you can do what, literally anything you can think of. But like, it depends on which version of the Cayenne. I always tell people get an S or better, at bare minimum, because you're just going to want like that little bit of oomph behind it. Turbo. Yeah, or the turbos, you know, like the turbos are nasty. They are? Yeah, you tune them right, oof, man, that's, that's a lot of power scooting around. You're talking about like six, 700 horsepower? On the V6? Yeah, or the V8, the four liters. Yeah. Ooh, man, that's a lot of, it, it, it kind of surprised you because like it's this big old SUV, you think it weighs a lot and it's just like, it launches, yeah. Like it yeah. puts you in the back of the seat. Hell yeah. The Panamera Turbos are the same way too. They're like quick. Yeah, my boy Chico got one of them. That shit's sick. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Chico, man. He got the <laughs> turbo, turbo push gang, man. That bitch nasty, black on black. Yeah, it's a nasty looking car. I love them though. I, I just love like the cars in general, you know what I mean? But like I say, it come with the people. The people is what's up with it. Who are some of the strangest people out here? That strangest? Some nice ass wires, man. Man, strange. I mean, I don't work on everything from like, like I remember I had like one guy was a defensive tackleman for like the Lions at one point. Um, you don't like sports, man. Like you said a I, defensive I can't remember his name. tackle man. <laughs> what the tackle. fuck is a defensive <laughs> tackle man? Defensive tackle. You know, um, <laughs> at Dwayne Wade's 911 Turbo at the shop. Um, Shout out to D Wade, man. D Wade, real one. Spotless car, too, man. Word. Yeah, nasty. Uh, it said Wade like, on the side sill and everything. It's custom made. It's a crazy car. Um, I mean, like, I've had people that are just like your normal regular day people and I had people that were like, yeah, anything that's less than like 75 feet for a boat is not considered a yacht to me. You know what I mean? Man, I'm about to buy a Porsche just so I can get a couple like, of it's, it's, the, it's the network of the people you just deal with because they're all over. It's like Porsche turns into like an enthusiast brand. You know what Let's mean? get one, J.O.N. Cat, what you, what you got on it, man? I got on with it. Come on, man. You know I rock with you. Man, we <laughs> fucking with it. We can find some. We got the tech. They don't have to yeah, be I new. Got, I got something for you. I got a couple cars for you. Whenever you're ready. Tell me what you like. I'll find it for you. Ain't no problem. Say no more. Yeah, you just tell me like what I'm looking for. Give me Cat trying options. to get the Grand National tune, man. And the Grand Natty. Oof. I love a Grand Natty. My boy got one too. Only one? Yeah, he's, well, he's got a Grand Natty. Um, Cat, we're going to bring him some business up there, man. Leave the back door open, man. A little side <laughs> door. We ain't going to park our shit in the front next to all the Porsche and shit. Back gate us, shout it. Bro, man, drop you your social media, man, because we I got a lot like, of. People bring me the weirdest things. Like, so, like, 
I have kind of like made my name to the point where like I can kind of work on anything. I can fix any little problem you could think of. Like people, other shops call me all the time because I can just figure out a car. Like it's a puzzle to me, you know what I mean? Cat, we in there, bro. Yeah. Fuck that. Don't know what it is. We right. got to keep our spot open. Drop your social media, man. Uh, so you can follow me. Uh, I'm going to follow you Leo right now. Go. On Instagram, uh, Insta Leo, Joe, Leo Go 3 on Twitter and stuff. Uh, Formal Speed, it's my IG for the shop. And you know, I'm on these socials. Send me a message, whatever. Leo Go 3? Uh, so Leo Go, uh, so L E O G O U, it's my personal IG. And then Formal Speed is the shop's one. We in there. We gotta get some Wi Fi around this joint. What else you wanna tell them before we wrap this up, G? Anything else I wanna tell them? Um, What's your availability, man? People gonna want to know when they can bring their shit. What's the uh, wait time right now? Availability, wait time, kind of like two month wait, really, for like engine bills and stuff. We work Damn, on Leo. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. I was I'll hoping you, you was like, shit. We got us. We got a little. We got a little spot open right now. <laughs> So I'm all about perfection. Like, if I give it back to you, it's got to be perfect. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. want to, I'm not going to BS nobody about anything. You know, you bring me something, it's going to give it back to you the way I tell you. It's so gonna right be. around the end of February, we can start flooding with yeah, our shit. Yeah, start flooding me in. Um, my racing season starts back up in January. So be a little mindful. My schedule gets a little hectic around then, too. But Really just bring the shit in April then, man. <laughs> just, just, just sit it in. It don't really matter. Be honest with you. Just send y'all shit after me and Kat send that <laughs> shit, though, Just man. tell me what you got. I got you. You know, we'll figure you know, it man, out. Cause Cat got a convertible Volkswagen. He want a Porsche engine in it. Oh yeah, been done before. You know yeah. we <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, man. I guess we found us a new spot to go take our cars to. Cat, what you think? I'll rock with you. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Well, there you have it. The black market is still open. <laughs> hey, Foremost speed shop. Yeah. Keep that shit real player.